An article published by the China Newsweek magazine has generated considerable discussion in the Chinese online community. Entitled, Why is Africa Important?, the article mainly talks about the importance of developing Sino-African relations economically, politically and historically. Well, in recent years, connections between China and Africa have developed rapidly. The bilateral trade between China and Africa has increased dramatically over the past few decades. And official data shows that from 2009 to 2011, the Sino-African trade volume rose from over 90 billion U.S. dollars to more than 166 billion U.S. dollars. China's investment in Africa has increased by 30 times over the last decade. China also has been Africa's number one trading partner for three consecutive years. And back in March, Chinese President Xi Jinping promised that over the next three years, China would offer $20 billion in loans to Africa during his visit there. And recently, Chinese Premier Li Keqiang announced extra aid of at least $12 billion for Africa and also offered to share advanced high-speed rail technology with Africa. Now, to hear what NetUser's thoughts are on this Sino-African relationship, let's now join a researcher, Esther Dong, in the newsroom. Good day, Esther. As with almost any relationship, there are tensions as well. However, do net users believe Africa is as important to China as the magazine article states? Hi, Scott. Well, based on the comments I've seen, I'd say yes. I first have a listen to this take posted on cntv.cn. See? Well, just like other countries, the energy and the mineral resources in Africa are very important to China. And besides that, we also have invested a lot in various fields, ranging from infrastructure, education, information technology, manufacturing industries, financial sectors, and construction. And uh, this poster named Xi Feng Xu Lai mentions another aspect. See, uh, the Republic of Seychelles, an island country located in the West Indian Ocean, invited China to establish a military base there. What exciting news! Just look at the location of this island and the U.S. military base in the Indian Ocean. You will see how strategically important Seychelles is to China. China has offered plenty of financial aid to Africa, some for known reasons, some which still remain quite gray. But what are net users' thoughts being expressed about the aid? Well, on this question, posters' opinions are divided. A lot of posters can't see the point of doing so. Instead, they feel it would be better if this huge amount of money was spent on Chinese people. Uh, for example, this poster from Tianjin comments on 163.com. Uh, we still have so many poor areas in China where kids have to walk on rough and rugged roads to school, but we've spent so much to help African people to build roads. While well, others disagree, uh, like this poster who writes on xinhua.net.cn. Uh, some people complain about our financial aid to Africa when taking our GDP per capita into consideration. But what I want to say is that we actually benefit a lot through giving financial support to Africa. That has helped us develop Sino-African trade. The Chinese companies get huge economic gains by doing projects there. And also to give financial aid to African countries is an international duty China has to shoulder. And finally, there are also a considerable number of net users who doubt the real effects of the aid to Africa. Fly Yi Xin Xiang Shan has this analysis. I have to say the financial aid and preferential policies we grant to Africa haven't really benefited the ordinary people there, but the vested interest groups in Africa. Another aspect is the security issue that has received lots of media attention. Here on China Take, we've covered several stories where Chinese citizens were beaten or kidnapped by African nationals while in various parts of Africa. What's being said about this other aspect to the burgeoning relationship? Right, that's also what worries plenty of net users here. Uh, first, have a listen to this poster who comments on QQ.com. Lots of uh, China-funded projects are located in remote or even unstable areas of Africa. And even today, there are some areas there where conflicts exist, and in many places, crimes happen all the time. These have all aggravated the dangerous work situation in Africa. And uh, we also have uh, Li Wei, who has this to say on China.com.cn. 
Uh, currently, lots of the overseas markets that we have developed are those that developed countries aren't willing to touch due to harsh environments and conditions and political instability, especially in Africa. So it's quite easy for Chinese employees and companies to become the targets of local anti-government forces. Lastly, Esther, any predictions or expectations from net users in terms of the long-term development of the bilateral relations between China and Africa? Well, although net users have concerns and even complaints over the development of the relationship based on what I've seen, the majority of net users have confidence in it. Uh, for example, this tick posted on Weibo.com says, uh, it's a win-win situation to develop economic ties between both sides, and there are plenty of areas that China and Africa can cooperate with each other. And based on the mutual interest, the cooperation between both parties will last very long. And uh, finally, uh, agrees, saying, uh, to invest the money and give financial support to Africa is a very important way to develop our relations with Africa. And China always follows one group principle, mutual trust and equality in politics, cooperation and win-win economically, and also respect for each other's culture. In this way, the relationship between China and Africa will grow. Thanks, Esther. And that was Chinatic researcher Esther Dong with a look at the burgeoning relations between China and Africa.